First at 5, from the University of Florida's College of Journalism and Communications, you're watching WUFT News. Gainesville police are searching for a suspect that left one man dead this morning. And a UF police investigation recommends dozens of third degree felony charges against nine suspended football players accused of credit card fraud. That's our top story tonight. I'm Evan Moon and I'm Alexa Lorenzo. Today, those possible felony charges were referred to the state attorney for consideration. Football beat reporter Savannah Collins joins us from the newsroom. And dogs and cats were an unusual kind of storm surge for local animal shelters during Hurricane Irma. But as WUFT's Stephanie Hall explains, teamwork kept local shelters from being overwhelmed and you can now help keep them from reaching capacity. <coughs> Alachua County says the local cooperation and goodwill is helping with its goal of becoming a no-kill shelter. But with more animal lives being saved, more homes are always needed. And two weeks after Hurricane Irma made landfall, here's the overview by the numbers. The Florida death toll is 50 but could top 75 once Broward and Monroe County numbers are final. Broward County had seven deaths, not including 11 not yet counted from the nursing home tragedy. And there were a dozen or more deaths in the Keys. Property insurance claims stand at $3.6 billion from half a million claims. And more than 1 million Florida homeowners and renters have registered for individual assistance from FEMA. Finally, one sign of recovery. An announcement was made today that the Keys will open for tourism on October 1st. And the American Epilepsy Society is giving $10,000 to its Florida chapter to help compensate Hurricane Irma victims. WUFT's Ramsey Touchberry spoke with an Ocala woman who will be receiving a little more TLC. Longer. So that's how I made it. The Epilepsy Foundation also paid for Luana's neurology appointment shortly before Hurricane Irma. And we haven't seen any rain in almost a week, but we aren't complaining about it. UF forecaster Brian Bogiano joins us live from the Weather Center to tell us how long we can expect these dry conditions to last. Brian? Well, the dry conditions will and our NBC News. And more than a month after the violence in Charlottesville, crowds are gathering in the city, but this time for a very different reason. WUFT's entertainment reporter David Jones tells us what brought them together. You're watching WUFT TV News. Welcome back. On Mondays, we're joined by our entertainment reporter, David Jones. David, you were telling us that this weekend featured some friendly competition, right? That's right. Well, we're still a few years away from the next Summer Olympics, but that didn't stop some people in our area from going for gold. Games will have Thank you, David. And earlier, Brian told us these dry conditions aren't going to stick around for long. That's right. Let's check in with him again. Brian, when can we expect to see some rain here? Well, the dry air continued to filter into our area until about Thursday, but then Thank you, Brian. Now, Florida football has certainly been making headlines on and off the field. You can definitely say that again. WUFT Sports' Jank Winderman joins us now with more. But in the NBA this weekend, New York Knicks forward Carmelo Anthony was traded to the Oklahoma City Thunder as it's been a crazy NBA offseason. Huge news, but mm -hmm. it doesn't affect my Miami Heat directly, does right? Does not affect the Heat, does not affect <laughs> the culture. We're all good. Of course. Thank you so much, <laughs> no Jake. Problem. Thank you, Jake. And a puppy abandoned at the Las Vegas airport has found a new home. That's right. The Chihuahua nicknamed Little Chewy was left at the airport with a note saying the dog's owner was in an abusive rela relationship and couldn't afford to take him on the flight. The two pound pup went viral and thousands of people offered to adopt him. Chewy is set to be adopted by a Las Vegas family soon, but as for his owner, she has not been found. Oh, wow. He's so cute. My well, before we go, one last check on the weather. Brian? Well, we are going to see a comfortable evening. Thank you so much, Brian. Looking forward to those cooler temperatures. Well, our Spanish headlines are coming up just before 6 o'clock right now between global newscasts from England and Germany. And our news team will bring you another show tomorrow at 5 o'clock. But your Florida news is always on at WUFT.org. Have a good night.